In this video, we will look at solving equations with rational exponents. As we do, we will want to clear the rational exponent by making it multiply to 1. If we had the exponent a over b to equal 1, we would want to multiply by b over a, because if we did, the a's and b's would divide out, leaving just the 1. This means we can clear a rational exponent by using a reciprocal exponent. As we use the reciprocal exponent, it will be important to remember that a rational exponent really just means a radical, where the denominator is the index. The numerator remains as the exponent on everything. It is also important to remember that we need to check our answer if you use an even exponent. Because this means you've cleared an even radical, which could have an extraneous solution. Also, remember, we have two answers if you use an even root, because this means you've cleared an even exponent, which has two solutions. For example, if we have this problem and we want to clear the exponent of 2 thirds, we would use an exponent of 3 halves, the reciprocal, on both sides. This would allow the 3's and 2's to divide out, and on the left, we have 3x minus 6. On the right, we have the 3 halves power on 64. The denominator is the index. We want the square root of 64, and we'll cube the answer. Because we have an even root, this is actually going to have two solutions. We're actually clearing an even exponent. We need a plus or minus. The square root of 64 is 8, and 8 cubed is 512. 3 halves power of 64 is going to be either plus or minus 512. We can finish solving by adding 6. 3x equals 6 plus or minus 512, and dividing by 3. x is equal to 6 plus or minus 512 over 3, and then we just have to consider our two answers, one from the plus, one from the minus. 6 plus 512 is 518 over 3, and 6 minus 512 is negative 506 over 3. And we have our two solutions because we had an even exponent, which we cleared with an even root. Let's try another example. In this problem, we need to clear the exponent of 5 fourths. We will do it with a 4 fifths, or reciprocal exponent. The 4's and 5's will undo each other, leaving us with 5x plus 1 equals the 4 fifths power on 32. Well, a fifth in the root goes in as the index. All of that is raised to the 4th power. Notice we have an even exponent, which means we're clearing an even root. We will have to check this answer to be sure it works. The fifth root of 32 is 2, to the fourth power is 16. We can continue solving by subtracting 1, giving us 5x equals 15, and then finally dividing by 5 to find out x equals 3. To be sure, we will check our answer in the original problem. 5 times x plus 1 to the 5 fourths power will hopefully be 32. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 to the 5 fourths power will hopefully be 32. This means we have 16 to the 5 fourths, or the fourth root of 16 to the 5th power. The fourth root of 16 is 2, to the 5th power is 32. Our answer works.